Thank you all. Thank you for your attention. Thanks to everybody on the panel. If I could just ask you all to remain seated just for a few minutes. In exploration, there needs to be the set of people who have no rules, and they are going into the frontier. I've never heard of a moment in history where an entire field is hinging on a single event. The Large Hadron Collider, the biggest machine ever built, is finally going to turn on. You take two things and you smash them together. You get a lot of stuff out of that collision and you try to understand that stuff. Could be nothing other than just understanding everything. Little did I know when I started that the experiments would take 30 years, and here I am still not knowing. I really want to know the truth. The first time I ever saw it, I can remember walking in and just being stunned, like five stories completely filled with custom design, hand soldered, microelectronics. There are 10,000 people, over 100 nationalities. Ciao, ciao. 100,000 computers deal with the data. In fact, the World Wide Web was invented at CERN so that physicists could share the data. This is really my generation's only shot. Let's get started, everybody. Now comes the day of reckoning. Given the complexity, they're already about a week or two behind. We're saying that all their tools are breaking. It begs the question, what are the risks? It would be a catastrophe for physics. These helium leaks are really frustrating. You've got magnets sheared off their jacks. Completely catastrophic. We're at a fork in the road, and it's cranking up the suspense as much as it possibly can. We may discover additional space dimension, the mystery and the origin of the universe. We may be at the end of the road. The entire control room is like a group of six-year-olds whose birthday is next week. It's incredible that it's happened in my lifetime. Whatever we learn is going to have a dramatic impact on the way human beings think about the universe forever. 